still in here? Sorry. I suppose I should take you out. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Today I'm showing you what's going on in my kitchen. I'm in my kitchen right now, but I'm gonna head down to the greenhouse to get some food because it is lunchtime and I need to make some lunch. So I just came outside and I thought I could hear a cat out here and I'm looking around and then I realized right up here is our mudroom and when I went to grab my basket, Eli was in there playing. Matt's right in the kitchen watching him. But I was like, oh, it's Eli. He's just meowing from the mudroom. <laughs> the sun is out today. It is just a beautiful day outside, but it is cold. Okay, shut this. So we're tr we've got the greenhouse all um, sh shut for cold weather and we are expecting some warm weather this week so I'm kind of excited about that because we got really close to freezing the last couple nights. Whoop! There's a plant there. <laughs> that darn to tomato plant. It's taller than me. It is pretty much... Can you see that? It's hooked up to the ceiling at this point. <laughs> um, there's so much going on in here. I'm finally going to pull the end of our kohlrabi and that's what we're having for lunch today. I brought out some scissors just to make it easier. These leaves, I don't know if you remember that video with our cabbage worms. They took out our leaves. So I'm going to give those to the chickens. And we are just going to eat the kohlrabi bulb. Had to go get a milk crate for those kohlrabi leaves. I'm hoping to make some hash today. So a hash is usually potatoes, kind of like hash browns. But if I fry these kohlrabi up just right, they taste a lot like a potato. I'm hoping getting these kohlrabi out is going to give the celery a little more room to grow. I probably should thin it if I want actual celery. If you're new to our channel, we are here in Minnesota zone 4B and it is September. So garden season is pretty much coming to an end and this is our first year, I'm like pointing my scissors all madly. This is our first year with a greenhouse and it's a complete experiment. This is all new to us. We don't know how things are gonna do. We're gonna try a few different experiments with the greenhouse to see if we can get things to last through the winter or at least longer into the fall, um, winter time, or at least be able to start growing earlier. Whatever we can do is an improvement on nothing. I got them all pulled out. I'm gonna bring these scraps down to the chicken. I grew up with an uncle who just loved kohlrabi. So everyone in my family had had kohlrabi. We had had it raw. Um, they liked to eat it with salt and I just didn't care for it. It was too strong of a taste. I also don't like radishes and I think it's a similar taste to me. What I learned this year is I really like radishes cooked. And last year we figured out that cooking the kohlrabi was right up my alley. So it tastes a little more like a potato. So that's exciting. older girls here they just take all of them they don't let anyone else have any so if I spread them out some of the younger chickens can have some too they seem to be liking them all right I'm glad somebody got to eat them even if it wasn't us
So the funny thing is last year we picked our kohlrabi out of the garden. It was one of the very first things we picked. So early summer, here we are, early fall. Garden's gonna be done before we know it. And I'm just pulling the kohlrabi. We've had a couple here and there. We did eat some leaves when they weren't uh, covered with cabbage worms. Harvested our kohlrabi. Not too much. When we planted it, it was probably already too hot in the greenhouse, and then it just stayed hot and it likes cool weather, so. So Matt is in the kitchen helping me. We've got the kohlrabi going with some onion. It's cooking in a little bit of lard. It's good flavor. Matt's making some fresh salsa. We've got a leftover pork chop I'm gonna put in there. Oh, double yoker. We got a triple yoker. Never had that before from one of the new ones. 